Did you ever see a product and wonder, why didn't I think of that? For six years, Shark Tank has been turning people's light bulb moments into big businesses with the help of a shark nicknamed Mr. Wonderful. Take a look. Mogul Kevin O'Leary was born with business in his blood. The son of a salesman and a seamstress, he turned a $10,000 investment into the second largest consumer software company in the world. He sold it all for a whopping $4.2 billion. Now Kevin uses his razor-sharp business sense to steer entrepreneurs toward success. Don't be a fool. On the hit show, Shark Tank, including a mother-daughter team who cooked up a delicious idea, Wicked Good Cupcakes. All right, I'm selling cupcakes. Wicked Good Cupcakes. Our cupcake jars are baked fresh daily, ready to eat right out of the package. Danielle and Tracy first came up with their cupcake-in-a-jar concept after their sweet treats began crumbling during shipping. They knew they were onto something with this solution, and so did Kevin. I want a dollar from every jar until I get my $75,000 back. I'm to mama! <laughs> what started out as a $30,000 investment has grown with Kevin's help to a $5 million business. Please welcome Kevin O'Leary, Tracy Noonan, and Danielle Velaghi. Welcome to all of you. All right, Kevin, what made you want to invest in Wicked Good Cupcakes? You know what I'm finding lately? I'm making more money investing in women than men. And so, number one, it's true. And so, the, Tra Tracy and Danny were so passionate, and they had the elements of success, even though the business was very small. And I recognized in them, and I thought, why not take a shot? They needed to... They wanted my money to expand capacity. That's like pouring gasoline onto a fire. I like that kind of investment. Yeah, but I know, Tracy, you took a lot of heat for going with Kevin. A lot of people said, including the other sharks, said you should not take this deal. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, social media was not kind to us after we aired. What did I, they say? Oh, they, they said things like, you girls are stupid, you need to stay in the kitchen, leave business to men. I, I was not prepared for the response that we had on social media at all. So how, how did you respond to that? I mean, you're, you're hearing this negative f feedback. Um, it, was, it was hard as a mother because I wanted to protect Danielle, even though she's an adult. But I just I had to tell myself that I have a business. We have a good thing. I can't listen to the naysayers and just move forward. Well, Danielle, how do you use Kevin, or how has Kevin helped you take it to the next level? Well, Kevin's there for us all the time. If we ever have a question, we can hit him up on the phone and be like, hey, is this a good idea or not? He will say that he'll run it by his team, and his team will take a look at it. It's more, um, not that we need help, but we just want to know if we're going in the right direction or not. Sure, you need the support, obviously, of somebody right. saying, keep going. Right. You mentioned at the, the beginning, Kevin, that you find that you're, you're doing much better in your dealings with women than yeah. men. Yeah. No surprise to us. But well, why do you think that is? I think women set goals that are achievable. They take less risk than men. And when they set up a strategy, for example, to launch a new product, or they make a promise, they actually want to deliver. Men seem to have more bravado, are willing to take larger chances. That can be great when you're playing sports, but not necessarily when you're running a business. And so now, as a result of looking at just the numbers, I'm starting to skew my investments towards women. If you're a great woman entrepreneur and you have an idea, come to me, because I'll make money with you. Yeah, well, it's, it's so interesting because Barbara Corcoran was on here, another shark, recently, and she said so many women don't take risks, and she wished more did. You're saying what's good about women is they're risk adverse. Listen, Barbara and I don't agree on anything, and the only reason she was able, <laughs> the only reason she was able to get here is I bought her a new broom this year. That's I bad. just had to do it. That's I had to do so it. That's so bad. <laughs> That's why they call me Mr. Wonderful. I tell the truth. Okay. All right, Kevin. Well, I love Barbara, but I'm going to let you pass on that one. What makes a good idea in your book? A good idea is something, and I'll give you the three attributes that we've noticed over years of doing Shark Tank. Number one, they were able to explain the idea in 90 seconds or less, which they were able to do. They came out and they said, cupcakes in a jar. I get it. Number two, they were able to explain why their team could actually build the business. They said, look, we've been doing this for years. We know what we're doing. We work together. We're a family. I get it. And here's the third thing, the one that kills most Shark Tank deals. If you don't know your numbers, you're dead. 
they knew their numbers. They were able to explain how they're going to increase their margin to profitability. If you ever saw the segment, the thing I was beating them up on was they weren't making enough money per jar. And they knew the numbers. They said if they can get their volumes up through a commercial kitchen from my 75,000, their margins would double. They delivered on that. So get those three things. You've got a good idea. And Tracy, what the audience may not know is you were 50 when you started this. You had no background in any of this business. Absolutely. I don't even know how you start. For women who might be at, watching at home, how do you even start? I think the most important thing when you start a business is it should be something that you're passionate about because having your own business takes a lot of time and effort, much more than you would, might ever even imagine if you haven't started a business. And if you love what you're doing and you're good to those who work with you, the money just seems to follow. Your business will grow.